Hi everyone, if this is your first time here or if you're a returning viewer, welcome to my channel. Do you want to make more money? Do you want more money in your pocket? Do you want a bigger bank balance? Do you want to understand how to work with money better so you have more of it? Then start right now by subscribing for free to my channel and activating the bell notification. Today we'll be talking about how to invest or the different angle, how to not invest. If you're not an expert, you should not go and play on the stock market. There's no video that's going to teach you how to play on the stock market and be profitable. Investing in a stock market for beginners and be profitable is a myth. Unless you want to just go and buy stocks. That's perfectly fine. If you want to buy stocks and keep them forever so that they hopefully increase in value. But if you know nothing about the stock market, there's no how to invest for beginners with the stock market and be profitable right off the bat. The first thing is you will make a lot of mistakes on the stock market. You're either going to get into a trade too soon or you're going to get out too late. Those are the two things that can really happen with the stock market. It's prices that either go up or down. The other thing that also happens on the stock market if you don't invest for yourself is the fees that the brokers are going to charge you. Sometimes those fees can eat up into your capital if your startup capital is not a substantial amount. If you have less than 100,000 rand to start investing in the stock market, then I'd suggest you just buy shares if you want to really go into the stock market. I have other videos of what you can do with that 100,000 rand. That is a lot safer than the stock market. But if you're in it for the thrill, or if you want to do it for entertainment purposes, go right ahead. It's like a legal form of gambling, going and playing on a roulette wheel, either red or black will be the outcome. So in the stock market, they can, you're either going to make money or you're going to lose money. I would not suggest for any beginner to start just right off and put in money into different various types of stocks or into a single type of stock. I would say stay away from the stock market. Rather put your money into one of the other videos that I have here on the How to Invest series. Go and find out which bank gives you the best interest rate on that. And you're a little bit safer there than in the stock market. Yes, on the stock market you can make a lot of money, but on the stock market you can also lose everything. And sometimes if you have the wrong account on the stock market, you can lose more than what you put in. So then you have debt. If you want a video about investing on the stock market for beginners, I would not recommend anyone to go and invest in the stock market. No one knows what's going to happen in the future. You might know every single thing that happened in the past 2000 years. Using all of that to see what's going to happen in the future, it won't help you. Nothing can predict the future. There's a lot of people making YouTube videos about investing in this stock and investing in that stock. And this one is on the rise and that one's on the fall. So this one you can short and make money with. That one you can go long and make money with. No one knows what's going to happen in the future. If it was that simple, then everyone would be investing in the stock market. Everyone would just put their money there. No one would need to work. Everyone would just be making money on the stock market. Most of the stock brokerage firms make money from transaction fees. They charge you a fee to buy a stock for you and they charge you a fee to sell a stock for you. And then if they helped you with capital to buy the stock, they charge you interest on that capital. That's how most brokerage firms make their money. It's not about buying and selling stocks, but fees. It's like a bank. Banks also have the option for you to invest in stocks. I also would not follow those investment options either. Stay away from them. The thing is, if you give a bank an instruction to either buy or sell a stock, then by the time that they buy or sell that stock, the price will have moved. You might have made a bit more profit, but you also might have wiped out all your profit on that time delay that there is there. There's a reason why a lot of big brokerage firms is right next to the indexes. It's not because they have cheaper property there, it's because of the amount of time that it takes to either buy or sell a, st a stock. That split second can make the difference in whether it is a profitable deal or if they lose money with the deal. So investing in the stock market for beginners, I'd say don't do it. If you have enough money, rather go and play in the property market. At least the property is a bit safer than the stock market. Yes, the property market can fall, but in the end, you would still have the property. Stocks isn't something that you can hold in your hand. You can't really do anything with the stock. You can't use a stock for anything. You can just buy it and sell it. That's it. That's the way that a lot of companies make their capital. 
they put out stocks there and they sell a portion of the capital of the business. And that's basically what a stock is. You can't go into that business and go and dictate what should happen. It doesn't work that way. It's just if there is a profit, you might get a share of the profit. Or if the stock price goes up and you bought it, you made a bit of profit. And also if you shorted the stock, then if the stock price goes up, then you lost money. That's why there's no good strategy for how to invest in for beginners on the stock market. It's a lot quicker if you go into a casino and put your money on a rally table. I hope you found this video informative. Let's make more money together. Goodbye.